This is the story of a nation and of one man whose life has mirrored and helped to shape it. It is one of the most exciting stories imaginable. A nation born out of war and breaking the yoke of colonial domination to take a place on the world stage. A boy born into the midst of Malaysia's formation who devotes his life to building the new nation taking shape around him. A child of the times who becomes one of its most important leaders. This is the story of a Malaysian and his remarkable life and times. Lim Kit Siang has been in politics for over 50 years. He's the longest serving opposition parliamentarian in Southeast Asia. Our first encounter was with this young, radical Chinese leader, very articulate. Then he said to me, Anwar, can we invite you to have a session, a retreat with the DAP leaders at Cameron Highlands? And here I was you know, known to be like a Muslim firebrand. I think without Kit Siang, DAP would not be what it is today. Undoubtedly, Kit Siang is the palest leader. He is the best of the best. The opening stages of Malaysia's modern history were marked by political and social tumult. Before the emergency was scheduled to be decorated with the Order of the British Empire, the decoration was later revoked. Now In rural Empire Johor, Limpo San and Teo Koni's third child was born into a time of turmoil. I was born and grew up in Batu Pahat, a uh, laid back town uh, in Johor. I was born in 41, and uh, I have vague memories of the Japanese uh, occupation, of uh, airplanes uh, coming, and then everybody had to go and hide. And of course, uh, also very vague memories of the end of the uh, Second World War, when you have uh, soldiers marching down the streets. Those are exciting time because not only in the country, there was this medical movement, but uh, throughout the world there was this uh, awareness and a rise of Asian African nationalism, where African Asian countries were standing up for independence and break the yoke of uh, British colonialism and to decide their own destiny. So from those days, I and a few of my friends, we were very closely of uh, political developments, political issues. I remember in 1955, we had our first uh, extended uh, excursion. In those days, uh, cycling from uh, Batu Bahat to Malacca, some 60 miles, and it was quite a, a long journey, uh, quite an unusual excursion in those days. In that journey with two of my classmates, uh, we spent a lot of time discussing about the Afro-Asian Bandung Conference, which was being held at the time. As I said, those were very exciting times when we thought that anything could be within reach. When Kit Siang was 15, the British and French failed in attempts to take control of the Suez Canal back from Egypt. The colonial era was over. The following year, Malaya was proclaimed an independent federation. And the course of Lim Kit Siang's life was determined. And I still remember in Form 5, when we were waiting for our results, you had nothing to do. In those days, the only thing you can do was to roam the, the streets, cycling around. Uh, that is the, 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 the parking uh, in those days. I, I think on, on one of those occasions, we said that uh, I, I did make suggest of probably, definitely not in the real seriousness, but in fun. Let's just go out to the world and uh, every one of us uh, form a political party and 10, day, 10 years later we'll come back and uh, exchange notes. The year was 1959. It was the year of Malaya's first general election. Instead of forming a political party, Lim Kit Siang worked briefly as a teacher before becoming a reporter for the Singapore Straits Times. In 1960, he married Nyo Yok-ti, a classmate he first met at night school. 
The couple welcomed their first son, Wan Eng. But fate would draw the young family onto the nation's volatile political stage. Those were also very turbulent days in Singapore. Kit Siang became Straits Times branch secretary for the Singapore National Union of Journalists, but clashed with his union leader when he tried to raise a number of issues. I was fairly new as a reporter, but also as a, a young, newly elected secretary of the, of the branch. So I remember one morning I went up to him because we were working in the same office, sharing the same work table, and, and gave him a letter uh, about these complaints. He opened the letter, looked at it, looked at me, tore it in my and tore it up. Probably thinking, yeah, how can such a young uh, chap uh, have the temerity uh, to come and uh, make such a protest letter to him? And that, of course, aroused my indignation and my sense of, uh, of, of, of uh, 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 the need to put right such injustices, uh, to be treated with such contempt. At just 22 years of age, Lim Kitsiang was elected to lead the National Union of Journalists. The unexpected role would prove to be a sign of things to come. With two daughters joining his family, the young father moved to become a reporter for Radio TV Singapore. He watched the birth of the new nation of Malaysia, and he watched the new nation's first general election in 1964, in which Devon Nair won the seat of Bangsar for Singapore's People's Action Party. But the political drama was about to take a twist. Uh, I was in the, the, in the in Parliament on that morning, and uh, then, then to, and, uh, saw the announcement by the Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman uh, on the decision for the separation of uh, Singapore from Malaysia because it requires a constitution amendment. Devon Nair was suddenly the PAP's only MP in the Malaysian parliament. Together with prominent local figure Dr. Chen Man Hin, Devon Nair established a new Malaysian political party. It would be called the DAP, the Democratic Action Party. But Devon needed a support team. Devon asked to see me and uh, he asked whether I was prepared to help him to become his political secretary in Malaysia. At that time, Kit Siang was about to enjoy promotion to editor. Although I work in Singapore, I, 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 I was a Malaysian. So all along I felt that I don't, don't really belong in Singapore and, and uh, without any hesitation I told him I accepted uh, his offer. Of course, when I went back and discussed with my wife and with my parents, they said I'm mad. And uh, the same thing uh, is what my, my classmates told me. The moment he joined us, he worked very hard and very efficient. So as our opposition secretary, he was very effective. Very impressive speaker. When he talks, he talks sense and then tells them why they must join the party. He listened to him. The DAP, when it was founded in 1966, made itself the pledge to bring about a Malaysia Malaysia. In other words, it's a Malaysia for all Malaysians. Rising above race, ethnicity, or, or territory, that every Malaysian can feel proud to have an equal place under the Malaysian sun and will be able to fully contribute to the betterment of this country. And I felt that uh, I should be back home in order to play my part, to bring about the political uh, uh, direction which I always, which I uh, uh, shared. The Democratic Action Party was registered in March 1966. Dr. Chen Man Hin was the chairman. Devin Nair was secretary general. Lin Kit Siang was named as national organizing secretary and editor for the official newspaper of the party, The Rocket. In December, the Lim's fourth child, Wan Chun, was born.
，有时候自己驾车，有时候会过个地方过两三天这样才回来，啊，都是他自己一个人驾，又又担心他的驾车啊，不能安全啊。回到家都是三更半夜了，啊，有时三更半夜，有时早，有时回来孩子都睡了呢，啊，隔天隔天有时孩子上学了，啊，他他。他有时一早就起来打文告了，发文告。There was a lot of、uh, a reservoir of support, but to get them to be involved, to come out, to be members, to be open public standard bearers, it's very difficult because there's a fear. There is that、uh, fear that they would、uh, be victimized because、uh, of the overall political climate at that time. The young activist would discover the fear was well founded. In the lead up to the 1969 election, he immediately made his debut as the public face of DAP in a great cultural debate with another opposition party, Gurakhan, led by Professor Nagid Alatas. The debate brought him wide recognition, and in the third general election in May 1969, the political novice successfully challenged for a seat in Parliament. In 1969, I make a mark and、uh, in offering to the people of Malacca the,、uh, that they should support a, a, a party and a, an MP who is prepared to speak up for them、uh, on the vision of a, a fair and a just Malaysia, a Malaysian Malaysia. It was the first general election the DAP had entered. The party won 13 parliamentary and 31 state assembly seats. Securing almost 12 percent of votes cast, the party's successes shocked even its strongest supporters. But celebrations were short-lived. Racial tensions flared. Three days after the election, there were riots in Kuala Lumpur. The government imposed emergency rule, and opposition leaders were arrested. That, that time, I was alone, taking care of four children. 又又局势又非常紧张，又听他们外面讲说，哎呦，今天哪里哪里发生事，发生事啊，啊，所以那时机枪又没有在我们的身边呢。I've already agreed to fly over to Kota Kinabalu to help the campaign of the independent candidates because the elections for the Sabah and Sarawak、uh, were to be held two weeks later. So all the recent.、Uh, Uh, allegations that I was in Kuala Lumpur on May 13. I have to provoke May 13 because of my、uh, wild conduct was、uh, completely based because I was not in Kuala Lumpur at all. I was in Kota Kinabalu. I had nothing to do what、uh, what was happening in Kuala Lumpur. After a successful rally in Kota Kinabalu, he was immediately expelled from Sabah by the Chief Minister Tun Mustafa, misusing state immigration power. So I landed in、uh, Singapore. And、I、spend the, the next three days with Devon, fifteen,、uh, sixteen, seventeen. And during those three days, I kept in touch with uh, uh, my family, with party、uh, leaders, to see how things are going, to make sure that everything is okay. Supporters urged him not to come back to Kuala Lumpur for fear he would be arrested. I told my party leaders that I will come back. While I told them that I'm not、uh, thinking of returning, I felt that、uh, having having been just elected as a member of parliament, when the people are in trouble, how can you、uh, just leave them alone and run away? On May 18th, Kitsiang flew home, and at the Subang airport, and they were checking the passport of、uh, all the passengers who have to queue up for clearance. When it came to my turn, I just asked. You know, a question was just popped up. I asked, "Are you waiting for me?" They look at me, look at the passport, and say, "Yes."、Oh, follow us. So I followed them.、Uh, the two, the two police, uh, uh, fully armed uh, uh, personnel, and from Subang,、uh, leaving Subang、uh, airport, going towards、uh, the town. And on the way, I saw over ten cars, ten cars. It was of course a curfew. The whole area, whole place was deserted. 
And at that time, the thought that struck me was if I, they took me somewhere and finished me off, nobody would know. 